Thank you for doing my new year. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, this little boy is smiling from ear to ear for the first time. You may remember, Sean, over a year ago, a dog attack left his face unrecognizable. And as you just saw, that is not the case anymore. And the final piece to make Sean whole was a prosthetic ear. Our Laura French shows us Sean's journey. But first, we want to let you know that the pictures you'll see show the severity of Sean's injury. Whose ear is that? Mine. Sean Fitz is moments away from being whole again. Is it starting to look like an ear? Yeah. Oh, good. With just a few more strokes of paint. Yeah. I think we've got the color. I think we're done. This five-year-old will no longer look back at this image in the mirror and be reminded daily about the trauma that got him here. Now I want to wish emergency. Don't just the f out of my son. May 24th, 2015, Sean was attacked by his grandmother's dog in her Louisa home. A year later, he just got me and just bit me. He just bite my ear off. The memories of that horrific day are still very real. When I was in the CIA, I mastered uh, the technique of making silicone look like skin. But with the help of retired CIA senior disguise specialist Robert Barron. There. Okay. The physical scars are about to disappear thanks to this custom made prosthetic ear. In, in the agency, you know, you couldn't uh, say anything about how you made a difference in someone's life or how you saved someone. But that was self satisfaction. But now it's satisfaction in another way. You can enjoy it and you can talk about it. Barron spent a career putting agents in hiding, but today he's bringing patients like Sean Fitz out in the open. You ready to go see? All right, step down. Sean takes his first steps to a new beginning. You see it. And for the first time in a year, he sees the reflection of a confident child looking back at him, smiling from ear to ear. It's almost like you're a guardian angel a little bit. The long-awaited moment that has brought his parents, on the other hand, to tears. That's okay. It's a happy cry. Yeah, it is. I mean, I went from thinking I'm never going to see him again to seeing him with his ear again. It's just a total, total 180. It's, it's amazing. And I think this is the best gift for him to show him that he's been so strong and that he doesn't need that ear to be a great kid and for people to love him, but it's going to help him a whole lot. Thank you. And it's this satisfaction that keeps this master of disguise going. We friends forever? Mm -hmm. Okay. After leaving Mr. Barron's office, Sean's family celebrated with a picnic at the park. They sent us these pictures and said Sean could not wait to show off his new ear. They say he played with other kids and didn't get those stares that he's used to. They say that they already see a more confident child. And the first thing Sean asks for when he gets up in the morning is for his parents to put on his ear. Working for you in the studio tonight, Laura French, CBS 6. <sighs> What a change. Such it's so an dramatic. amazing gift. Mm. The man, I mean, obviously a true artist, but uh, okay. for the boy and the confidence. Yeah, life. it's just, I mean, you think about being a kid and just the, the subtle little things that, right. that can, you know, shun, you know, it's just a great thing that for him. smile now, priceless. Yeah. So awesome. It so is, happy for him. That's it is awesome. a great, great story and happy for uh, everybody involved, really. Yeah. I mean, the guy's able to give back in a way he never thought. So nice. really, really good.